Supply Chain Coordination and Information System. We all know how information technology wave has created new ways to conduct business in this millennium. Typewriters have been replaced by word processors, email replacing various modes of textual messages worldwide, using computers, cellular telephones, and specially equipped televisions via telephone, satellite, and cable television networks. Office automation has made the concept of a paperless office become a reality. Workstations, printers, database systems, and other tools are now linked by means of a local area network, LAN. In this scenario, supply chain coordination in terms of information system becomes imperative. This lesson covers various issues related to this. It follows from the previous slide that after studying this lesson, you should be able to know the importance of coordination, know the supply chain integration, determine the importance of information technology in supply chain, describe the bullwhip effect. As the complexity of supply chain increases, very often different stages of a supply chain may have objectives that conflict if each stage has a different owner. If there is lack of coordination, it then results in total supply chain profits that are less than what could be achieved through coordination. As a result, each stage tries to maximize its own profits, resulting in actions that often diminish total supply chain profits. Lack of coordination also results in information distortion within the supply chain. The result of information distortion has been variously described as the Forrester effect or the bullwhip effect. The reason for the bullwhip effect is that each company in the chain has incomplete information about the needs of others. Therefore, it responds with a disproportional increase in inventory levels. This consequently results in an even larger fluctuation in demand relative to others down the chain. In conventional systems, the focus being on the specific transaction between the buyer and the seller, bullwhip effect becomes a phenomena firms have to live with. Traditional performance measures are internal and therefore limit the possibilities to optimize supply chains. Management has to see wide areas for improvement. The supply chain concept implies that members of the channel coordinate their efforts. Despite this, there are a number of factors that form obstacles to coordination. Usually, obstacles can be categorized into five classes, namely incentive obstacles, information processing obstacles, operational obstacles, pricing obstacles and behavioral obstacles. Incentives offered to different stages or participants in a supply chain lead to independent actions by the supply chain participants, increasing variability and thereby reducing conformity. This can be checked by all facility decisions, should be evaluated based on their impact on the supply chain and total profitability. In supply chains, the information has in practice to be transferred to channel partners. There is both bias and noise in the transference process distorting the demand information between each echelon. This leads to vast stock holding in the chain. Not only does stock holding across the chain cost money to maintain, but it also leads to increased variability in orders within the supply chain. In addition, it also results in excessive write-offs due to obsolescence. Also, the lack of information sharing between stages of the supply chain magnifies the bullwhip effect. In order to check this constraint, internet and a variety of different types of software systems can be used to increase the visibility of information throughout the supply chain. In most cases, this requires additional effort. The internet can be used to share information and increase connectivity in the supply chain. All levels in the supply chain must understand the commitments for the supply chain to operate smoothly. 
operational objectives such as customer service levels, throughput and order cycle time etc should be agreed upon across the channel by its members and understood at all levels. When pricing policies lead to an increase in variability of orders placed for the product, it creates pricing obstacles. The firm can reduce the bullwhip effect by using pricing strategies that encourage retailers to order in smaller lots and reduce forward buying. For example, by moving from lot size based to volume based quantity discounts. This results in smaller lot sizes thus reducing order variability in the supply chain. The supply chain structure and the communication between different stages are problems that are often related to behavioral obstacles. There are a number of steps that can be taken by management in the supply chain to increase coordination and moderate the bullwhip effect. Building trust and cooperation in strategic partnerships are perhaps the most critical requirements to remove behavioral obstacles. Let us have a look at this figure which illustrates the role of information in decision making. Information technology is at the center of virtually every aspect of business especially in today's dynamic, uncertain and highly competitive environment. It has a vital and critical role in an effective and efficient supply chain. Information systems can be divided into intra-firm information system and inter-firm information systems. In the figure given, the solid arrows suggest an evolution or progression from one stage to the next while the dotted arrows suggest that it is possible to bypass stages. The nature of the information provided by the SCIS is determined by what benefits are expected from the different activities of the information system. There are two types of major activities that the SCIS has to support and cater to. Each of these activities is further divided into a number of sub-activities. The major activities relate to planning and coordination activities, operating activities. Inventory deployment and inventory management are the interfaces between planning or coordination and operations. Let us check our progress by stating if the statements are true or false. The supply chain structure and the communication between different stages are problems that are often related incremental obstacles. True or false? False. The major activities of SCIS relate to planning and coordination activities. Operating activities. True or false? True. The result of information correction has been described as the Forrester effect. True or false? False. Before we end, let us give a revision. Supply chain performance improves if all stages of the chain take actions that together increase total supply chain profits. A lack of coordination can impact the performance. This occurs either because different stages of the supply chain have objectives that conflict or because information moving between these stages gets delayed and distorted. Supply chain coordination requires each stage of the supply chain to take into account the impact its actions have on other stages. One of the most common problems in SC is the bullwhip effect. When complete information is not shared between stages due to conflicting objectives, information gets distorted as it moves within the supply chain. The bullwhip effect distorts demand information within the supply chain with different stages having very different estimates of what demand looks like. The result is a loss of supply chain coordination. It increases manufacturing cost increases inventory cost, 
increases replenishment lead times in the supply chain, increases transportation cost within the supply chain, increases labor costs associated with shipping and receiving, hurts the level of product availability and results in more stockouts and lower profitability. The effectiveness of information management is central to the successful execution of logistics and supply chain processes. Timely and accurate information is critical for businesses. Improvements in information technology have significantly changed how information can be processed and communicated. Some specific technologies have demonstrated widespread logistics applications. The quality of information depends on three factors availability of information, accuracy of information, and the effectiveness of communication.